TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is where you can catch the highlights and things of that nature from the live, man. Um, don't forget, we do got the Patreon as well. We do have to update this list. This is a rough draft for the things that's going on in that nature. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Discord as well. I'm trying to hurry up and get through this. I made it to the premiere of Standout TV. Uh, Sneeko, Cheyenne do not agree. I feel like this has the potential to be as great as out on all platforms. What's the dude's name? <laughs> I forgot his name. Him and, 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 and the Andrew Tate interview. It has the potential to be that great. You know what I'm saying? Because Sneeko, one thing about Sneeko that I realized, like, you can't really tell him nothing. Like, folks, he been on Vogue. <laughs> like, he, he, he came from, I don't know his whole backstory, but he had to come from the bottom, <laughs> hustle up to where he is. So when you do it the, that type, like, when you do it that way, like, hey, I sat down and I, I buckled in and I grinded for what I got. So what, what are you about to tell me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all right. Keep in mind, I am a Gemini, so I might feel two ways, two, three different ways about a certain subject. <laughs> my birthday was Friday, too. Salute, Peggy. This is my first video in two days, man. Let's get to this, man. I'm excited. Come back with a banger. I got my snacks. I'm Sneeko, and I'm here to find love. I don't think I'm going to find it, but it's going to be a good way for me to exercise my charm and my bobbing and weaving skills on a date. We'll see how it goes and see if I'm really yeah. massaging. This about to be negative. Folks just said he he about to he about to practice his bobbing and weaving skills on a date. This ain't this shouldn't be a bobbing and weaving affair. You know what I'm saying? It's a sneak. Come on, gang. Hey, by the way, I live in Miami now. I moved from Chicago. I'm in Miami. So my outlook on women right now is real bleak. Ha! <laughs> These women out here wildin'. <laughs> this is why I'm on Rumble because what I say is not safe enough for you two, but I think I can manage her grilling. I deal with a lot more Haram every single day on a panel of 10 Haram women. This is nothing. This is, I'm trained, I'm ready to go. She can ask me whatever she likes. You I'm an open book. I'm one of the most honest people I know. So honest, I think that's why they had to ban me on YouTube. Sniper out now on all platforms. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, how are you? Doing I'm great. Uh, nice to meet give you. Give me a hug. Great to meet you. Nice you look great. You. I wasn't knowing what to expect. Thank you. You look nice yourself. Thanks. I put on a, a good shirt. Yeah, it's a very nice shirt. Oh, he's handsome. And he looks nice. My apologies for being late. He's handsome and he looks nice. It's okay. But like Cheyenne, you know I'm trying to get with you. So you got to cool out when you when I'm watching. You got to cool out. You know exactly what episodes I'm going to watch. You know what I'm saying? So cool out with the compliments. Damn, I done spit my bad. And I'm going to eat it. But cool out. You get me. Late than never. Essex is a bit far. I did not think we were going to. My apologies for being late. It's OK. Better late than never. Essex is a bit far. I did not think we were going to. He's late. I was in London. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's good to be back. I haven't seen grilling in a long time. Yes. Well, we're back. We're back. So Cheyenne. Nice to meet you. Sneeko. Nice to meet you, Sneeko. I actually think she looks really good. I like her hair, her outfit. So, Sneeko, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Um, let's start with your hobbies and interests. Hobbies and interests. I'm working all the time recently, so there's not a lot of time to do anything extracurricular. I consider this fun. I enjoy yeah. talking to... Dating? Well, I enjoy talking to beautiful women. I knew that was coming. It's still work at the same time. Oh, okay. I'm always working. Always working. Always, yeah. No sleep. So where's your accent from? I grew up, uh, I was born in New York City. So what's New York like compared to London? It's very similar. It's, oh, it? it's kind of identical in a lot of ways. It's getting infected by wokeness. Same. Knife crime. <laughs> infected by wokeness? It's getting infected. What do you mean? I think I'm woke. Do you? Yeah, I think I'm woke. 
I'm conscious. Big red flag. Uh, <laughs> giant, giant red flag. I'm not really sure what she means by, Aye. by that word. People always <laughs> use that word in different scenarios, but that's, uh, I kind of want to leave. What is <clears throat> wokeness to you? Wokeness is using weakness. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? As a virtue. It's finding power and being a victim. God, he's opinionated. It's just virtue signaling. So blaming things about for racism, blaming everything on sexism, on misogyny, yeah. on other circumstances. People like to latch on to identity politics to give them justification for where they are in life. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. Or make climate change their personality because they need to feel like they're oppressed. It's, it's everybody wanting to think that the system is against them when the system is actually giving us these ideas to just keep us distracted and keep us fearful and always yelling. I ain't gonna lie, Sneak. I never looked at it like that, Brody. I never even looked at it like that. But I, I do hate them off. I do hate people that just oppress themselves. Like, bro, shut up. Go get it. It's out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything ain't anybody else's fault. About nothing. That's London. That's New York. But at the same time, like Chicago, sometimes reality. My experience as a woman is very different to yours as a man. So of course, I might call it misogynistic and sexist. But latching onto that and blaming the world for being misogynistic will hold you back more than however misogynistic the world actually is. If you believe these ideas, your thoughts and beliefs they end up emulating and creating your reality. Yeah, you, you manifest it, right? So if you walk into that's facts. He's spitting facts right now. Okay. I like his approach a little bit better than Andrew Tate's thus far because it's not as, it's not as, Andrew was spitting like, he was coming at her, but like he was trying to make it like jokey and funny and ha ha ha. Nico here on straight business. He's dropping <laughs> verbiage for her. A room and you sit down here thinking that I'm misogynistic or that the world is oppressing you. What's going to happen is you're going to see more of it and you're going to be thinking that and the world's going to respond to that. I don't have a victim mentality, but it's really hard to not let things burn you a little. Like what? Experiences, for example, even dating, right? I, I consider myself a very nice, homely girl. I would go on a date, but and it's like I could be the woman that you want, but it's still not enough for a man that's not ready. So then that would initially Key be a word. bad experience for me. So Key word for a man that's not ready. You chose wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta have them radar set too. Now, men, I, men nowadays, we good actors, man. We gonna go for what we want. We gonna lie a hundred times to dig where we wanna be, and then we gonna dip. But shoot, in this generation, it's up for you to decipher who's good and who's bad. So then say if I'd done that, and I'd gone off into the world, and done that with 10 other men, 10 more men, if I'd done that, and I'd gone off into the world, and done that with 10 other men, 10 more men on body count that is an issue for you, men. So then it's like, where do we stand as women? Because there's a lot of good women that have the same morals and ethics that I have that are going into the world. And it's like, if a man's not ready, he won't wife you. What does that have to do with misogyny? If I'd done that with like 20, 30 men, you'd be quick to say, your body counts too much. And then it starts to have this battle with the sexes with a double standard and the behavior and the way men disrespect women for wanting to be as liberated as a man, sexually. So you want to have as much sex as a guy? No, but I'm saying, like, whether I did or whether I didn't, because of the way the world is and the way it views things, how do we ha keep it fair then? You well, know? double standards exist for a reason. It doesn't have to be oppression. If this was an actual restaurant in this scenario, I'd be paying, regardless. Like, no matter what, no matter how the date went, even if you stormed off, even if you thought it was a misogynist, whatever, I'm still paying. And I'm not going to complain about that double standard. That's just, they exist for a reason. We have different roles that we're supposed to play. Double standards exist for a reason. It has a negative connotation because of female ego, but just get over it. We have different roles, and it's extremely important that we play those roles. This is what I'm supposed to do. That's facts. In a relationship, I play my role as a man. In a relationship, a woman should play her role as the woman. You know what I'm saying? There's an unspoken, there's an unspoken code that I'm supposed to protect you, right? That's one of my roles. Protector, I'm gonna play that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And whatever roles that are thrusted upon you that you feel like you should be doing, then play them, play them right. <laughs> yeah. A woman should keep her body count as low as possible. Really? 
What is it with men and wanting like a woman that is basically a virgin? So what's your body count? Sniper out now on all platforms. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Okay. Should a man pay the bill? I've paid the bill. Like I don't mind paying a bill, if that makes sense. I don't mind splitting it. But I think it's nice. I do like traditional values in that aspect where if a man is a protector and a provider, then look after me, you know, then pay. So if you like traditional aspects of a relationship as a protector, provider, pay for you, then why shouldn't a man like those same traditional aspects such as low body count? It's just a question. It's traditionally, you know what I'm saying? Pay the bill. But I think it's unfair to expect men to pay the bill. So what expectations do you have of men? I don't I have really low expectations now. I'll be honest, it's doing the Damn. show. It's changed your expectations of yeah, men? Yeah, so they're very little now. Can they, do they have to make more than you? Do they have to be taller yeah, than you? Yeah, to be fair, you don't have to make... In an ideal situation, I would love for a man to earn more money than me, be a protector, be a provider, but unfortunately, with the way a lot of people see the world and society sees the world with the men that are the high earners, they can't fit what I want. From what, what do you want? I, I don't really comes, know. So when it comes to like the provider, protector, you don't need to be a millionaire. I just want someone that can come home, look after his kids, kiss his wife, and give me love, and then play, like, play with the kids on the weekend and just have a nice life. But in reality, men that want to provide for you are the people that are out working, that go away on work trips, that have side women and all that, and I don't want that. I don't think she knows what she wants. What she needs is a man to say, no, this is how it's going to be. But to find that guy who will do that for her, I ain't gonna lie, I, I ain't never heard Cheyenne be all over the place like this. I'm looking like, what are you talking about? What do you want? You just you just say you just gave him two scenarios. You said in the real life, like, come on man, like this is why I be on Instagram and TikTok, man. People be like, Oh yeah, you want a gangster thug that goes to church and praises God who's forgiven but to beat somebody up for you. Like, come on, bro. Choose like what do you want? Do you want to do you want to do you want a stay at home man or do you want a hard working man? What do you want? It to be difficult. Maybe you want that guy you just don't want to know about the extracurricular activities. No, but it's not not knowing. I just want someone that's going to be about me. I, it's just not a nice thought because it's like So don't think got, about it. What do you mean don't think about it? No, it's not don't think about it. If you've got my mind, my body, my heart and my soul, like why should you then just like disregard and be out here in the club with other women? I'm disregarding it by not telling you. Honestly, all this show does is make me have very low expectations. Sneak a while right, right now. And that's not nice. So it's like, you can be very powerful. Then don't actively seek it out. But it just happens. And this is the thing. Women come to women as a woman. As a woman. I'm coming to you as a woman. Is this your man? Ignore them. Those are always jealous. Those are always the girls that are like just trying to, they're jealous that you have a good relationship with the man that you're happy with. He's not lying. He's not lying. I've been in a relationship and been faithful, and females come and be like, oh, I just want to let you know about his past. Who cares about my past at this current moment? Am I doing something negatively to affect her? No, right now, no. This is my past you're talking about, so? With you can't listen to other women because they don't give good advice to each other. A lot of women are extremely miserable and misery loves company. They don't want to see you succeed because women get extremely jealous when they see a woman get married. So they're going to want to bring you to the club and do the same garbage they're doing. Man, I hate to say that, but like, he's not lying, bro. My baby mama had the worst set of friends, bro. The worst. I'm talking to, like, well, you know, I don't want to say nothing about my baby mama, but she listened to him, so it is what it is. Had her out at clubs doing the doing the doing the doing the same f sh that they was doing. Girls that go and like as a woman, it's never a happy woman because she's hurt. She's also hurt because she was sold dreams by men that wanted to have their cake and eat it. Oh, uh, yep. Except a man that cheats on you, basically. That's not what men are going to say to other men. Men are going to tell each other how to have a happy relationship and how to act properly. And women are just going to tell each other, yeah, well, yeah, but women are just going to tell each other, leave him, he's, a, he's doing this, look through his phone. Why shouldn't women be allowed that's... or want to have a man that's just loyal to them? You know? Loyalty doesn't have to be sex for men. It's not. Here we go again, another misogynist. It's your body, like, why can't it matter? I don't agree with her really now. I don't know what she's talking about. 
as a as a man right now, he just telling you how he think as a man. How is that misogynistic? It's not. He doesn't have to be sex for men. It's not. For men. Go again, another misogynist. It's your body. Like, why can't it matter to you as a man? But you can't apply the way you view sex to the way men view sex. Because we will never see it the same way. We don't see it as like we're losing our purity. Our purity is not attached to sex the same way a woman's is. Yeah, but that's because men put the purity on us as women. So I feel like men give us this pressure. Do we give... I think women put attachment on that purity just as much as men do. What's the first thing a woman says to insult another woman? Yeah, no. You, no. you, because deep down we all know that that's how a woman. Damn. He just hit him with the one. <laughs> he just hit her with the, cause she, and she knew. As soon as he asked the question, she was like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm cornered a little bit. I can't even answer the question. Cause he, I'm gonna fall right into this, this chess game he playing. <laughs> Women's value is measured. It's just exhausting trying to find the balance. Now what makes a good woman? A good woman is, provides a spiritual balance. I'm a very busy guy. I have a flight later on. I have a lot of businesses. I have a lot of people attacking. And I have some enemies, stuff like that. And so there's a lot of pressure. Enemies? I need a woman that... Yes. Sneak? Yeah, for sure. I, I believe he got some enemies in the business world that don't want to see him succeed. I could provide that balance and just that she can pray for me, that loves me, and is happy and is around and, and she presents herself well. It's, it's not that complicated. It's not that hard to please a man. Cook, not. clean, smile, happy relationship is that simple. I feel men don't validate women's emotions enough because it's like, listen, I can do all that for you. I can bring you peace, I can pray for you, I can make you have a really great comfortable life. But if you're not giving me peace because I'm unsettled because you're out, you're here. Why is that party. bringing you, why is that unsettling you? Why is he playing dumb for? Because you should, like, where, if you're off out all the time, like, where are you providing for Not me? all the time. No, but I'm saying, but if you are on business and you've got a hectic life, there's no peace for me. I'm just at home, you know, because if you're not there, there's not that emotional need. Because women, we're emotional. We need that. So how often do you need me to check in on you? Well, if I'm your woman, every day. Every day? Yeah. Yeah, in the morning before morning and night. Yeah. Call you in the morning, call you at night. It's not a problem. But do you not see what, where I'm getting at? No. She, I feel like she's proven the point that I've been coming to the conclusion lately. Like I said it earlier, women want like a stay at home. Like women want bums. You want a bum ass dude. So he has, so he got all day and all the time in the world to chill with you. All day. Like he got no motion. So you want him at home checking on you, emotionally being there for you. Like, no. <laughs> that, that that ain't even like how am I supposed to provide from home? Like I gotta get out on the road. I gotta do business. I gotta connect dots. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna ride and tag along, you can tag along. But th there's a lot that come with you tagging along. You gotta play the back. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna disrespect you, but you have to play the back. You know what I'm saying? And everything you can't come to. Simple as that. <laughs> If I was raising your children and you're not there, is that fair? How often do you want me to be there? No, that's, I'm asking you. It's uh, ideally a good balance. A man needs to be very present in his kid's life. At a certain age. I agree. Nah, nah, sleep. I agree. Ain't no at a certain age. <laughs> you got to be there one birth through 18. It's important every year. From like ages zero to five, the dad doesn't really need to be around. That's cap. That, that nigga don't got no kids. Zero to five is when they form the strongest relationship with the who they're around. So that's cap sneak. I'm not agreeing with you on that one. You must. You don't have no kids. I have my daughter from age three months old to almost one, almost solely by myself. And the bond that we've built is crazy. So zero to five is the most important, actually. You might could skip five to seven, five to eight, but zero to five, it's important. I don't care what you say. You're wrong. You're wrong on this one, Gaggy. 
you're going to emasculate me if I'm there all the time and I'm changing diapers and the baby's crying and then you're upset and you're emotional and I'm in that house environment with all this fe all these toys and you're like really big and bloated. I'm gonna be emasculated in that time. I don't need to be around from zero to five that much. I'll show up. But you do. What do I need to do? Do you want me to change diapers? Yes. Why? Because it's your child. It's yours too. Yeah, but so I'm not. I'm not saying I'm. Who do you think is better than, at changing a diaper, me or you? 100, percent it is a woman. Like naturally. So why women. do you want me to be doing it if you're better? Because it's like it's like take the it's like we're raising a child. We're raising children together. It's supposed to be. It, man, I'm gonna say something that y'all might not like. I'm gonna say something that y'all might not like. I think men take care of their kids better than women take. If you put a single father next to a single woman. Measure the amount of complaining, measure the amount of lack, measure, like, <laughs> I don't know, man, I don't know. When I was by myself with my daughter, I had a great time. What the hell? We had no issues. <laughs> if the core value of a traditional house, it's like we're raising a children, we're raising children together. I don't know, a lot of y'all might not like that, but I, I've been seeing that a lot too, like men are better... <laughs> F parents, men, men are the better parent than women. That's crazy. That's even a, that's a crazy thing to like judge, man. I feel like they both play a role, but like if we stack in a single parent next to another single parent, male, female. But it's supposed to be a unit. If the core, it's like take the, it's like we're raising a child, we're raising children together. It's supposed to be a unit. If the core value of a traditional household is men and women together, so we're raising children and together. Who's paying for the house? Just shop for your kids. <laughs> That's it. Stand up. So I will go out and get the money to provide for the home and provide for yeah, you. But you. No, but it, regardless, whether you're providing for me, this now is about the children that we're raising together. If a man's not in a child's life, or especially, for example, a female, women tend to be more hypersexual if their father isn't present in the life. Facts. That's a fact. Does that not change anything? Would that not make you want to, as a man, be a father and step up and be in that family unit? Of course I will be there. But from zero to five, I don't need to be there all the time. I don't even think I should live at the home. No, no, now you took it too far. Oh, sneak wild. Hey, Sneak is going for the wild factor right now. Come on, gangy. Like, come on, man. I'm a father. Like, zip, like I said already, zero to five. Those are the those are the those are the years that that bond is overly solidified. You know what I'm saying? I need an apartment somewhere. I don't want to smell the poop and the diapers. You and the, actually, no, I don't want to trip over a toy while I'm walking to the bathroom. You're deluded, mate. So you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be ready for kids then. If you don't, if you yeah, wouldn't want to be there and see all these beautiful moments, like a vital moment of watching your child smile for the first time, watching your child take a first step, that's something you've created. And I feel like as a man, that should be the most powerful thing that you've done. You know what? Also, when I have my when I have my daughter though, I will say this like. The first year I was in I was in Iraq, I was doing things where I was doing things to make money where I didn't have to be outside. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say. I didn't have to I didn't have to leave. You know what I'm saying? So I could be there. Thank you know Silver Line and thank God I could be there. Um, but like like if you have a nine to five and you're trying to establish yourself in a business world, I do understand where Sneeko coming from on that point. Like you, there's no way you're not gonna be there because we're as men, we're in a very competitive world. You know what I'm saying? We miss a day, it's, it's we 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 fall three days behind. You know what I'm saying? It's a fight every moment of life for men. So I get it, but like on my free time, I wouldn't be going out. Once work is done, I'm I'm done with work. I gotta go home. I gotta be there. Like I'm I gotta be in my daughter life. Hated a life. You know, that, that's your name. That's one thing you've got. You raise a child, you have them in your name, your family name, especially if you have a son, and you don't want to be there and watch their first moments. I want to be I there. I think that's poor. But you can record it. No. No, I'll be there. I'll be there two days out of the week, but like every single day, just babies crying, and it's, it's I am going to lose what makes me able to provide for the house and for you and for the kids. We're not going to both breastfeed this baby at the same time. You know deep down it needs to be every day. Like, why wouldn't it be every day? We could compromise. No, it's not compromise. It would be you need to be in the house every day. You in the house with your woman raising your children together. I'm supposed to, I'm, 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 I'm going to assume that she means every day, like, after work. 
I do agree with what she's saying, man. Like, but like the the man do got to go provide, get that money. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the man is on a. It's harder if the man is on a like going upwards. If he's climbing, if he's climbing. Now, if he's solidified at what he's doing, like this, he can he can have a child. He can balance work and home life pretty good. But if you climbing and you have a clear in the middle of this climb, it's very hard. It's very hard to focus to focus home life and um, getting to where you want to be comfortably. So I, I can kind of see what they're going in right now. But but I think Sneak a little wild. I think Sneak, you know, he's still young. But I agree with both of them. I agree with both they saying. Because I'm not being funny. There's enough men on the world that aren't present in their kids' life. And I think it's an absolute shit show, if I'm honest with you. That's a fact. I look agree. Look at all the single women. Look at all the single mothers. You know, I'm not and, saying you're going to be no, single. No, but, but that's how it is. What, what's the point? There is no benefit. Listen, like, as single women, as single mothers, they deal with a lot of slack, you know? And they deal with it. They raise the kids. And it's like, there is no difference to a woman that is in a relationship or a marriage raising her children if she's by herself, if her husband's living in a separate apartment. She's basically a single mother. That's wild, though. A separate apartment sneak is wild. Like, I, I, yeah, he said that for wild factor. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go to work. I'm going to come home. You know what I'm saying? But, like, <laughs> I'm going to come home when there's two hours left for, of the baby being up. I can get off work. Like, say if I go to, say I go to work, at, if I wake up at 7 a.m., I go to work. You taking care of the baby. Realistically, there's daycare out there. You drop the baby to daycare. You got your day. Daycare is from 7 a.m. to where I am right now. You can put your child in daycare at six months. I didn't. I I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. But my daughter went into daycare like a year and a half. Like she was one and a half. She was in daycare. Um. Realistically, that's from 7 a.m. to 5 a.m. I go drop the baby off or no, 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 no. You drop the baby off because, you know, I bought the car. I bought the car seat. <laughs> so you can go drop the baby off. I go to work. You come back home or you go do whatever you want to do throughout the day. You can go if you want to. If you want to have a job to feel fulfilled, go ahead and get that. I'm not requesting that you have that. <laughs> so go out, come back, get the baby at whatever time you get off, and I'll meet you at home when I get off. So I, if I get off at 5 p.m., daycare ends at 5 p.m., you know what I'm saying? You probably get the baby at like 3, 4 you know what I'm saying? Get it situated. You know what I'm saying? I get home at like 5.30. And we rock out. We rock, me and the baby rock out till, they, till she fall asleep. You take a little break. Even though you've had the same type of, you know, clear day as me. You just had to pick the baby up from daycare, get her ready, and then took her to daycare. But, like, after that, you know what I'm saying? When I get home, I agree. Like, I'll come home. I'm going to rock out with the baby till it's time to go to sleep. And then once the baby is asleep, it's me and you time. And then I got to get to some business. You know what I'm saying? Some at-home business. Because honestly, work doesn't work. If you're trying to get very successful in life, work doesn't end. Work is not in the out between nine and five. So realistically. So at some point while we're at home, I'm going to have to do something. Send some emails, network, do some Skype meetings or something. All right. But, you know, of course, there'll be date night things to Great. solidify our relationship to let you know I'm still here. You know, but like, I think I didn't get none of this knowledge right now until until I was older, though. Sneak is like 23, 26. I don't know. He young. It is out of the week. Honestly, separate apartment. She's basically a single mother. Three days out of the week. Honestly, why are men like this? <laughs> It's more negotiate. impactful if the dad shows up and gets to be his best self when he's there. Yeah, he's there. He's there. You're saying it. These are your own words. When he's there. So what is the point? You're in the club. You're in business. You're doing that. And and I, I don't say anything it, about the club. As a business provider, I get that. Be the yeah, he never said anything about the club. Right, I'm saying from house. ages zero to five, 
Being there every day is detrimental. At the Google Gaga stage, I don't need to be there all the time. It's just that that's the truth. There's no reason for me to be there other than for her to make it fair. If I'm living with my girlfriend all the time, we're gonna end up hating each other. That's where the resentment actually builds. If we have separate apartments and then we get to miss each other and then we get to actually be our best selves when we show up and see each other, you went, the relationship lasts longer because you get to miss each other. That's a very important part That's of true. maintaining a relationship. It's about unity. It's about raising them. It's a That's true. But you got to think about it. Who's have? If we're talking about traditional, who's having kids before marriage? I regret having a kid before marriage. I don't regret my daughter, but I regret having a kid before marriage. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the relationship would have been more solid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't have had no doubts. Things would have went a different way. I would have, like I, like he said, I would have missed, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm seeing, like, he's not wrong. As a man, if I'm seeing you every single day, like, that shit get dead. Like, yo, and then you complaining on top of seeing you every day, like, as a girlfriend. I, I would never, never, I would never, ever live with another girlfriend. Like, we got to get married. That's just from my experience, though. That, that's all it is. I don't even need to argue it anymore. That's what it's about. What are your red flags? Red flags at a woman if she doesn't respect her father. That's number one. Number two, if she has a high body count. I think if it surpasses half of her age, actually just over five. Sneeko, have you ever been in love? I have, yeah. yeah. Many times. Many times? Many times. How are those experiences for you? That was a very therapeutic question, but they were good. I think it's a, it's a good learning experience. The difference between a man and a woman falling in love is you notice when a woman falls in love and it doesn't work, it ends up kind of wearing down her soul. Trauma as a man can help build you and make you stronger and help you navigate the world better because in my experience, I learn from actual experience. I have to go through it in order to really understand not to do something. I think the same as me. A lot of men are like that. But whereas a woman, if she goes through a traumatic experience, if she goes through a terrible relationship, if she has her heart broken, then that changes her view and makes her more cynical going into the next relationship. Really? I think it's their way around. I think when men are in love and they go through heartbreak, I feel like they actually don't come back from it. What makes you say that? From experiences, from conversations from people, from, from the way... It is hard. It is hard. I do try, me personally, I try to go into the next relationship not holding a grudge because of the last relationship, but I am super guarded. But now I do understand what Sneak said, though. He like, <laughs> women like go in a little bit more conniving, holding a grudge, holding a grudge on their current man because of what they last dude did. Like, that, 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 that's very common. And I, they might do it as a shield to protect their feelings, to not feel so like, like I'll never go simp mode for, I'll never put my whole heart into a man again, like type vibes they be having. But like, that's the world. You know what I'm saying? You, you win some, you lose some. If you feel like you got to go in on some sneaky stuff with this guy, then that's not the guy for you. That man should make you feel 100% comfortable. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if that's what you're looking for. Men are. Guys that are heartbroken, they're in the gym right now. They're starting a business right now. They're trying to improve. They don't want to ever let a woman control their ego like that again. That's what I mean, like men shut off like from love. So if you have your heart broken, then it's like they do go militant and it does probably make them become a better man. No, shut off. We go open to love and then they do this whole We go they evolve. They want to then be loyal to just one woman. They want their options. That is kind of true for for me. My first relation like in high school, I was all romantic, lovey-dovey, simping, giving her flowers, writing her poems. It's not simping, though. It is simping. I think being romantic is not simping. That doesn't make you a simp. Like, why, why, why should it be called simping? If you're showing love and affection to someone you love, that's not simping. Like, you're not doing too much. But that's showing... respect and love and attention has to be earned from a woman. You can't just give it to her thinking that the more I love her, the more she's gonna love me. It has yeah. to be recipro reciprocated. I think this goes for a lot of guys. It's not heartbreak, it's just understanding female nature. If I'm writing all these poems and giving her all these flowers and there's another guy out there who's not giving her attention and is maybe more accomplished or, she, she wants attention from that guy because of what he is. If I'm giving you all the attention from the jump, then you have nothing to work for. Women want to work for attention just as much as men do. Hey, talk, sneak! 
Hey, talk about it, Gaggy. Because I was before I watched this, I was thinking like, man, yo, I know Sneak from like break, break to bring this point into the like, like it's let me t- like simping is where you're leading with straight simp motions. Like simping is where you lead with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm coming in. I just met you yesterday. Damn, can I pay for your rent? <laughs> oh, what? Like, like I, you got to remember, I'm in Miami. It's, 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 it's accomplished dudes out here that is simping like that. They leading with the gusto. They leading with paying rent. They leading with getting your hairs done. Leading with, leading with getting your nails and feet done. Like, I don't know you. How have you earned my the money that I've worked hard for? For me to treat you to hair, nails, facial, like, you know what I'm saying? That's like five, six hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, when when did you deserve that? And I met you two days ago. That that be crazy. But you know what? Men did that. These goofies out here did that. <laughs> They messed up the price. <laughs> so me writing all these posts of what he is, if I'm giving you all the attention from the jump, then you have nothing to work for. Women want to work for attention just as much as men do. So me writing all these poems and love cards and everything, it kind of, it's a turnoff if she doesn't have to get something at the same, if she doesn't have to work for it. That's the, that's Some of you just want love. You know, it's not always about working for it. And I put myself in that situation. Like I've, never been the kind of woman to want the man that doesn't want me. You know, I want stability. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You don't even know me, so yes, I would. You know, I'm the woman that wants stability. I'm the woman that wants love. Maybe I'm naive and maybe it is a fairy tale, but that's the way that I see the world. Show me that you want me, fight for me. The moment I know... Show me that you want me, though. But, like, I hear you, but a lot of women be, like, taking that, like, they be moving different with that verbiage. Show me that you want me. Why does show me that you want me means pay for things? You know what I'm saying? Oh, if you want me, you'll get my hair done. Like, that's that's the, that's the that's how Miami's coming. Chicago's like that, too. Like, major cities, the women in the major, not all of them. I'm, I'm, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't group all the women together. But, like, that's how it be coming. Like, that's how it be feeling, bro. Like, legitimately. Like, like. Show me that you want me. If you want me, you sh- it shouldn't be nothing to buy me this, this, and the third. No, it is something because you could be out here finessing me. What I'm not gonna simp over you like that, like Snake said. Like we can't. Sim- that's simping. Like you gotta work for it just as much as I gotta work for it. You know what I'm saying? I come from a generation where there was no Wi-Fi when I when I came into life. I seen no Wi-Fi, I seen Wi-Fi, I seen the internet age, I seen no internet, I seen people work hard for what they had to get, I seen people go on internet and shake butt for what they got, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, I seen when women made dudes wait three months to hit, you know what I'm saying, I, I seen men and women talking on the phone, getting to know each other, I seen, I seen all of this. I seen it, and then when it flipped to what it is now, it's like, yo, that's tough. <laughs> You've got my respect in the sense of I'm my bad. I'm you. pausing like maybe crazy. I'm naive, and maybe it is a fairy tale. But that's the way that I see the world. Show me that you want me, fight for me. The moment I know, you've got my respect in the sense of I will ride for you, I will root for you, I will fight for you. But if you're not even showing me that you care, why? Why? Why should I? The relationship that you're describing, you're gonna get bored of this guy. You want a guy to be with you all the time. You don't have a lot of expectations. You just want a man that loves you. And if you're not having to compete for his attention to some extent, if you're getting all of his attention and he's always available, both of you are going to get bored. And then you're going to end up cheating. You're going to leave. When I say competing for your attention, I don't don't mind competing if it's your work, your business. I'm not competing with another woman for you. So if your time is not with me, then have it be at work, but it's not going to be for another woman. I'm not competing over Not one other a woman, man. but if your man is not getting attention from other women, you're going to become unattracted to him. Not nah, yet. Yeah, yeah, hey, now, come on. Oh. Yes. 
this day and age, women like a lit dude. They like you. They like the man. They like to go out with your guy. Like, okay, so if I'm messing with a girl, like I like to take her out. I, I take her out like a, a night, like out. Like we let's go to the bar, let's go to the club, whatever. Because I need you to see. Like that. This is a fact. I like what Sneeko's talking about right now. Because this is a fact. If you go out with your girl and you don't, if no eyes go towards you, she's paying attention to that. Like, man, let's see who's looking at my guy. Let's see who, let's see, let's see, let's see. Like, they, they, they scanning. They like to know, like, okay, other women want my guy, but I got him. And if you out here, nobody looking your way, that's a tough cookie to swallow for her. Damn, nobody want him. He ain't got no motion. He ain't got nothing. Like, no, damn, it's only me that's attracted to him. That's tough. As sad as that sounds, that's true. No way. He needs to be desired by other women or else it's just, you're gonna get bored. Have you ever thought of the fact that it's women are actually desire men that are good men? Being a father is a masculine quality. So what I'm saying, so you're contradicting what you're saying. It's to be present in a child. That's a cap. If being, father, if being a father is a masculine thing, then why do women not date men with kids? I always thought, like, shoot, I got a kid. Check it off the list. He takes care of his kids. I don't got to worry about him not being in a kid's life if we have one. That ain't how it's looked at, Cheyenne. Yeah. Father is a masculine quality. So, so I'm saying, so you're contradicting what you're saying. It's to be present in a child's life, to do all those things, it makes you attractive. It doesn't emasculate you. It makes you look better. More women want you when you are a present father. My point More is, women want you, you are you're going to want a man that is desired by other women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So being there and being a present man and it's for one woman makes other women want that. You know, so it's down to you as a man to control and have that discipline <laughs> to not that. let other women get you. You know, at so what's the best I'm saying? But if you're a very successful man, why can't you be the man that runs it down, holds it down, has this business, is so successful, and is loyal to one woman? Do you know that would be probably the most alpha man on the planet because it's every woman would want that. Name one of those guys. I don't know any because they all sleep with other women because they have options. <laughs> just, but so that's what I'm saying. If you, what I'm saying, what I'm saying so if you really wanted to be the ultimate alpha in general, be the loyal man that has the integrity, has the morals, has the business, and but that's it. it. it yeah. You can't even it think of one example. I'm, no, but I'm, no, because I don't know. It's not, it's not in my I don't know one either. Man, I think Sneaker was born post-2000. He, he, he can't hear what you're talking about. I don't even think folks got their morals. Mm-mm. There, I'm sure there's a lot of men that can, that are loyal, that are that, that come up with those. It's like, for example, you could be right now broken all this, and you could be able to come up with a woman who really is a ride or die. And if you stuck with that woman, then she's you, my priority, and she's your priority. And if your only of our attention was on business, and it was that, and it was solely on her, then you would be the most wanted man. Women desire good men, you know, because for you. You know what it is, though? I, I feel why Sneeko looking across her at this table like this. Because Sneeko is from America. She's from New York. She is from the UK. Women in the UK, I've found this out. Women in the UK are way different than women in America. Like, I feel like eventually I'm going to find my wife in the UK. Like, because there's, there's multiple... I've talked to multiple women that have this same attitude as her, which, I, which is blessings. Love it. That come across like like Cheyenne come across, but out here I, you don't run into that. Especially because Sneeko be in Miami a lot, so he's definitely coming from. He's talking to you about like Miami vibes, Miami little women. What his experience is, New York women. You to say that you're basically saying all men cheat. Yeah, we're well, all successful men. The men that you want. Will she? We need to change this narrative that every woman wants a millionaire. There are men on this planet that have those morals where they won't cheat and they are for one woman. Like, I don't care what people are saying that you could argue. Maybe it's a very small percentage of men that wouldn't cheat and would be loyal to one woman. But that man there is the most alpha man on this planet. Oh, this is draining me. Would you be with me if I'd slept with over 20 men? Come on. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. But if I... I'd done everything you wanted, prayed for you, protected you spiritually, gave you that. You wouldn't be able to do that if you fucked 20 guys. Why? Why wouldn't I be able to? Your soul would be broken. How would it be broken? How you would can you know? tell, you can look into a woman's eyes and see her bodies. Go on. She has that glazed over look. The more bodies she keeps taking with guys that don't care about her, 
All right, your, your eyes right now, Don't even. 11, maybe 11, 12. But the more it goes up, it's like, damn, he caught nice, I told her 12. Folks clocked her body count, she ain't even flinched. Uh, but I could tell that it's probably early 20s. And now she has expectations of monogamy and it's just, that guy is not gonna take a girl with a body count that high seriously. I'm sorry. As a woman, I'd say I've got very mass. I can be a very feminine woman, but unfortunately- You have masculine qualities. I have a lot of masculine qualities because of the way my life played out, you know? And that everything is about circumstances. It could be the environment I grew up in or whatever it is. So I don't get to be the feminine woman that the world wants me to be because that's not my life. That's not reality. And it's not the way the world is. I feel you on that one. But like Cheyenne, when you come across the man that you really want, you gonna fold. You gonna bend for whatever he's saying. Like if a woman like you, she like you. She gonna she gonna she gonna be very feminine, period. <clears throat> but there is a massive wave of hyper independent women because men don't step up enough because there are not that many men have the values that would want to cover the bill, that want to do this, you know? So why like would Luckily, uh, why you're would... a gentleman. Like you, like you said earlier, going back to you saying that you'd split the bill, you're a gentleman. But this is the thing, there's a confusion where people believe that I, just because I'm alpha and then there becomes an arrogance and an ego and then there's no respect for women at all. So that it, it, it makes it harder. Low key, man, I be like, I'm watching him listen to her. And it's kind of, I'm kind of looking at him like, I, th I think, Nico, maybe you do got some morals. Like, you, you was raised right. Because you actually listening to her. You letting her talk. A lot of these people that come on here just be one ear out the window. You, you one ear out the other. Sounds like, it looked like you really trying to take in the information. Like, I, like, I don't know. Maybe some of this stuff that, it's the internet. I think a lot of people on the internet is characters, but. I don't know, Sneak. For women to even respect men. You're doing that's good. Why we have this unbalance. Like, you, you <clears> want <throat> a guy to be monogamous, to be at home all the time, but you're also saying you're masculine. You're not home all the time. I'm not saying you need to be home. You I'm did saying, say that. Yeah, I'm saying being present with your children. Looks like we're in for another fight. Come home, sleep in the bed at home. With the raised, masculine with woman? The woman. Sleep at home with the woman that you raised, had made a baby with. That because would you be slept easier. enough time to me and get me pregnant and have a baby so then stay there every day to raise your child you can work till 10 p.m if that's the case but come home to the your woman so your kids can see you in the morning that's, i don't feel like she's asking for too much at that statement <laughs> she even said you could go work till 10 p.m shit i was coming home at five to spend a little time with the kids before they went to sleep and see them in the morning but you saying come home at 10 like i understand in the past in a traditional culture them being monogamous to one woman and always coming home but you're also saying that there's this rise of independent hyper masculine women and you also want men to be monogamous to them don't you see how that's going to fail because if you're a masculine woman and we're monogamous and we're staying at the house all the time what's going to happen is i'm going to be more feminine that's not a happy relationship even to hear you now say like you need to come home you need to raise a kid i'm like i need to go go to the garage and like smoke I need to go and get a beer with the guys. Like, I'm ready to go and hang out. I'm thinking of an excuse to sit in the bathroom and just get some alone time, which is what a lot of guys do with these hyper-masculine women who are saying, you need to be here. You need to do this. If I was then your woman and I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm playing it out. He's not lying. That's a fact. Why do you think men go to the bathroom for so long? <laughs> it's peaceful. Saying to you, you know, it's Nico, like, I need you here with me. As your woman, I need you. And so if, you, if it's your duty to be my protector and my provider and I'm calling out for you and I'm upset, I'm distressed and I'm calling you and you're not there, you ain't no alpha, you ain't a protector. Simple as that. I don't know if you could tell, but I love a good debate. And then the way you're saying that, my response would be, okay, I guess I'll we'll come home. Exactly. So then perfect, and then done. That's it, you're home. And I'm miserable though. <laughs> I'm miserable. But like, I'm trying to put my shoes in the guy's Feet that she's talking about. Me personally, I'd have been home anyway. You know what I'm saying? Work done, I'm coming home. Do you see what, what you've created? No. I've you created have peace. effectively peace. emasculated me. That's not no, peace. How has it emasculated you? I've, you've said you've. Now, in this scenario, though, she, she definitely emasculated, bro. She argued this nigga down. She argued him down until he gave up. <laughs> And now he got to go home, be miserable, lost the fight, sit in the toilet for 10, 25 minutes, fake boo-booing, 
You know what I'm saying? I've went no, from... No, but you've said, you said in the beginning, you said a woman that you're going to provide a stability, you're going to provide... You don't understand what I'm saying. No, but that's what you've said, you... and that's how I've heard it, and that's what I'm saying to you. Like, listen, for me as a woman, I understand so many things. We are... We you're, you're, are not, you're not going to understand what I'm saying. You've made me go from this guy, happy guy, confident, my shoulders are up, to... Okay, I'll come home. Yeah, but every day, <laughs> if your shoulders pumped up, maybe sometimes you need that. Moment. Sometimes that, you yes, want me. Oh, sometimes yeah. that's compromise, and that's a relationship. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes actually listen to a woman if you want to be able to provide that. Just listen. You want a sometimes simp? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. No. Wait, what was the question? Damn, I, do you want an independent partner? Ooh. That's a tough question. That's a tough question. That's a tough question. I would have to... It depends for me. It depends what... You know what I'm saying? It depends what you're being independent in. No. Independent <coughs> means independent of a man when a woman's talking about it. I want her to be dependent on me. I want her, even before we meet, to be dependent on her father, ideally. I don't want an independent... Okay, yeah, okay, then it, yeah. I like how he put that. Not, in, not You're not dependent on men, but you're dependent on your father. So when the right man comes along, you want to be dependent on him. Dependent girl boss queen running around here like I make my money. I don't care at all It's impressive as a man if you have things go on you're busy. I don't care if she's busy I don't that means nothing to me. I want a dependent woman with that though I feel like women like to make it clear that they've got their own money Just so like men like you that are in a better position in life. Don't call us gold diggers I don't think there's anything bad with being a gold digger. I think that a woman should desire rich men. I mean, that's a smart thing for a woman to want. There's nothing wrong with a woman wanting a rich guy. I think that that's actually a good quality in a woman because it shows that she prioritizes a lot of the things that make a man a real man. Why would she not want to be with a rich guy? Why would she not want the best life for her children? Why would she not want to see the fruits of his labor and travel the world? Why would she not want to be with an accomplished man who's made money to get to the point where he has the experience, he has the qualities, there's nothing, like, Gold Digger has been shamed a lot. I don't, of course, I don't want a girl to take all my money, and we've seen relationships fail like that, which is why you should protect it, but she should want a, an accomplished rich guy because that shows that he's capable in many different areas of life. So do you believe a woman should pursue a career? It's not a bad thing, sure. I think it shows some good qualities, but I think that she should prioritize raising a family over the career. If she finds the right man, and they start having children. I think they can both agree on this. She should be willing to give up whatever career she has to go and raise a family. Like, that is fine, like, that's fine. Yeah. But that's agreeable. Huh? There are women that also want to have a career. Can you be friends with the opposite sex? <sighs> when I was younger, it was an absolute no. Because for what? For what? You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's gotten weird, like, now, it's like, sometimes it's a yes and sometimes it's a no. You know what I'm saying? At some point, though, every man wants to, has want to hit any female he's been around, like, he's wanted to smash her, like, do things sexually with her. So. Oh, it's so difficult. I'm saying yes. It's just a maybe for me. No. No. How come you're saying no? It just never works. There's always going to be a level of attraction. If that's ever on the table, that's not a real friendship. Yeah, of course. It's disingenuous. So why did you say yes? I say yeah because I do believe that you can be friends with someone. Because you be friend zone and shit, Cheyenne. Someone of the opposite sex. You, know you have male friends? Yes, but I'm starting to realize, don't get me wrong, like as I'm getting older and from experiences, I'm realizing that a lot of the time men are just trying to sleep with me and like a lot of them have played the long game like I I'm and you aware. still no but I because I do have like three good guy friends that wouldn't sleep with me like genuinely yeah yeah nah I doubt it <laughs> I doubt it if you call them dudes up right now Cheyenne and be like yo can I come over I just need some D 
They finna yup. They finna get in the shower. You know what I'm saying? They finna put the manscape on their meat. You know what I'm saying? They finna <laughs> they finna change the sheets. They finna sweep, mop. What you mean? Like you finna get the treatment? Like, don't be that naive. Come on now. Ain't no man that you friends with, Cheyenne. I'm looking at you. Ain't no man if denying denying that. Nah, you got, nah. Because they always tell me, they're like, Cheyenne, like, go get married and just settle down and just... Are they in long-term relationships? Um, one of them is, yeah. Okay. That's what I mean, and even like this, what about his, the single his, his missus like invites me round to barbecue. Like I get on with her. Like it's nice. It's a nice unit, you know. The single one wouldn't sleep with you. No. You want to test? No. Test it. I'm not doing that. I thought he's your friend. You, you could he trust him. He is my friend. Test this, me. And say what then? I'm so horny. I'm grilling, and this guy sucks. I need to meet you in my car real quick. Yeah, he'd actually tell me to shut the fuck up. Genuinely. Okay. Well, you won't call him up. I know what he would say. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, nah. That's Cap Cheyenne. He's your single friend who's your friend, he would smash, 100%. But it's fine. You can continue living in the delusion. What do you say in London? She's waffling about. She's chatting sh fam. Come on, blood. She's chatting. <laughs> the same way that you're living in the, in the delusion about your single friends, you should apply that to when you settle down with a successful guy and he's going out on business trips and maybe he finds a girl once in a while. Just ignore that the same way you're ignoring the fact that your single friends would absolutely destroy you if given the opportunity. What? Huh? Honestly, I'm so sick of this, oh, men and women can't be friends. I'm not being funny. If you're too insecure to uh, accept the fact that your partner has someone that's a friend of the opposite sex, that's a you problem. If you're a liberated woman and it doesn't matter and you're on a... You know what it is, man? Most situations, like, the guy friend has probably smashed in the past or he wants to. And I don't even want to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like he's either hit and now he's a friend or he's playing the long game. And he, he's feeling you. Like I said, like any female that I'm around, like I've either hit her or like I've wanted to. It's crossed my mind at one point. And now it's just like, eh, never mind. No, I don't. Or I'm playing a long game. And I'm not playing the long game with no female. No, like I'm good. <laughs> I, I'll say so. I don't have new new female friends. Let me put it like that. The friends that I have that are female, they're from ten years. Like I don't. They're the the youngest age. I want to say my newest female friend is five years. Our friendship's been going for five years, and that one's kind of falling off. You know what I'm saying? There's I have no new new no new female friends. As early as five years ago. So from whatever five years ago was till now, I have not made no new female friends. <laughs> Cause I think it's, once again, I agree, it's kind of a new path. I'm liberated sexually, 100%. Oh. Like I will do- Are you liberated? As in, in the sense of like, I will do what I want to do for me, but it doesn't mean, like my term was sexually liberated, doesn't mean that you need to be going out having sex with everyone. Mine just means I can, if I choose to do it, and I want to do it, and I want to wear that, then I'll do it. So you're liberated? I'm liberated. I'm just a liberated person in general. Like, you're liberated I'm, sexually, though. I, yeah, I'm not sexually in the sense of like how you're trying to. Free at last, free at last. I think you should just be free regardless. Like, do whatever you want to do for you, as long as you're not harming anyone, hurting anyone, breaking up families, cheating, and do what you want. You want to know why you're not actually sexually liberated? Why? Because liberated means you're free from everything. You're free from judgment. Yeah, that's if, what I'm saying. I'm liberated, but I'm. If you were actually liberated, you would tell me the number. Yeah, but I don't care. Like, as in, I don't care if that makes sense. If you don't care, then you can tell me. Whether I'm liberated or not, it's got nothing to do with you. The reason that you won't tell me is because you care. I don't think it's free. Listen, I don't think women are free in that sense. Like as much so as. So you're not liberated. Yourself, I'm liberated. Damn, I'm sorry. To... You, hey, he beating your ass right. <laughs> Those words are synonyms. It doesn't make sense. Like, I can feel free, but I'm not free with society the way that it is. And I can't be bothered. Like, anything you say will just get manipulated and twisted, and I can't be bothered to deal with it. Yeah, yeah sneak up light skinned, of course. 
I seen some people come on here and straight cap. Like, it's 2023. Who not? I do, I do, I do. And they're gonna, this is, see, I'm honest about it. I'm actually liberated. With my. Oh, that's why you're doing it to prove a point that you're more liberated than me. No, that's not, well, actually, yes, I am, because I'm being honest right now, and you can't be honest. I, I, <laughs> this is not accepted in my space. Everyone's against this, but with the woman that I love, the main, I don't just do it. The woman I love, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Oh my God, excellent. <laughs> Oh, good. Just, just, just with the main one, I understand, blah, 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 they're gonna, but I'm honest. Okay. Good, well that's good that you're doing it. I feel like... I didn't like the way you said that. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, aw? Oh. I'm shocked, I was really expecting a no. So it's nice to have someone... It's nice? That, no, it's nice to have a, a guy come on here and be like, no, it's good, I enjoy it. I'll change my answer. No, 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 no. the reason why I'm saying it's Never nice... Mind. I'm done. No, no, it's nice because you understand, like, pleasure. Don't change, you can't change it. Like, you understand pleasure, you understand a woman's body, and I feel like it's just, as a woman, I'm speaking as a woman, it's not... Like, the answer is yes, but, like, let's not discuss it. Because once we get to discussing it, it's going to make me not want to. You get me? Just let it happen. <laughs> nice to lay in bed with a man and have him just fuck you and not care if you have come. You know, so if a man does go down on you, loves you, loves your body, shows appreciation, it's much better and you will get a better result because she's more likely to give you better sex as well. And you can respect a random guy that's just gonna give you head first night? No. The difference is head is expected for the women, no matter like what level of relationship, that's just, it's just foreplay, it means nothing. So this is why everyone's got it all messed up. Like, that is not just something as accessible as that. Like, that's an intimate thing. Something like, means nothing. See, I was really giving you some flowers then. It's like, I but take I was... the flowers, but I don't want them. It's just <laughs> like four, it's just like kissing. That's just standard, this is how we start. But this is, this is like a different level of intimacy. That's what I'm saying, it's beautiful. So, I'm glad you said yes. Men are supposed to give women the flowers. Like, this is, you see what a, how this messed up the, I should have lied. No, it's good. Now you've got probably more women interested. No. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. For what? sure on this platform you do. What is wrong with a man wanting to please his woman? If, especially if she's your main and gives you your peace and spiritually protects you. You can't maintain your masculinity and give head to a woman. Yes, you... There's... Stop. there's How does that take away your masculinity? Like, it doesn't even make sense. If, if I do, like, if I'm doing... <laughs> because all you know, what? You're still, like, like, do it in the air. Do what? Give head. Like, as a man to a woman. What does it look like? What do you mean? You, you gotta lay on here, you put it, and then... I can't, I can't... Your butt on... Your stomach on the... Your stomach is on the, on the bed sheet. Your butt is exposed. I get what you're saying, Sneak. I get what you're saying. It's the positioning. You gotta put masculinely do that. Can't so pause. Create that motion right now and still maintain yeah, masculinity. Yeah, but you could do it manly. You could like and grab there's, her. There's, there's no manly in the way. Yes, you could pull her to the end of the bed, grab and what's her. And what's your face doing? Whose? What's the man's face doing? Even, even if I'm hoisting her. You'd be on your. On my knees? knees? Haram. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> stand on my knees? On my knees is crazy though, Sneak. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't know she was gonna take it there. Who's doing that? Where the men at in here? Y'all, it's a man in here that got on his knees and did that before? To a woman? You're wigging, you're wilding. <clears throat> I'd rather lay on my belly or something. That's tough. <laughs> But no one sees it, it's just me and you, or you and your woman. God sees it. You know? <laughs> He's gonna bring another girl in. Let her do it. I, it doesn't need to be my tongue. The only reason that she wants it to be my tongue is that she wants a level of power, garbage. I will bring in a unicorn that loves us both, and she can do the haram unicorn for me. Is crazy. But it's just, it's, it's just an intimate thing between you and that person. So no one's seen that. That's so hilarious. you ain't gonna worry about what other men think, or oh, this is a bad angle for, because men are gonna make me look like I'm um, this, that, it like. It has nothing to do with it. God is looking at you and saying, simp. No, he's not. <laughs> listen, I'm telling you now, to all the men that even listen to this, it is the most attractive thing when a man is able to step into his power and even just submit to a woman in the moment. And it's not even submitting, it's just nice to please your woman. Why wouldn't you want to do that? No, I agree, but on my knees is crazy. <laughs> Can you be friends with my ex? I'm friends with some of my exes. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm associates with my exes. Like, friends is a stretch, but I'm associates with them. Like, we can associate. Say, hey, what's up? How you doing? 
things like that. You picked I up. Like you, would. you picked up the wrong card. No, I would. Pick Friends, no, but associates, we could. Yeah. Friends. No. What's yours? No. Yes. What? And it depends what circumstances we became exes. Oh, like if you cheated, nah, we we enemies. <laughs> enemies, damn near. This is what. So how are you telling me to click? No, like, click, press, pick up. Oh my god. I, I, absolutely not. But you can. Yeah. Oh, so it's okay for you to be friends with your ex and not me. There's no difference. You are right. You can't tell but me. You can't tell me no. You Same you way. can't tell me what to do. I'm so. telling you to not tell me. What mm, yeah, this one is a double standardy. But I wouldn't be friends with my ex. Like, if I was with a girl, I just out of respect, I wouldn't talk to none of my exes because there was emotions there. I did do a lot of things sexually to the my ex. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's a respect thing. And I would want the same respect. What to do? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't speak to... You, I, you're not allowed to speak to other men. And wait, did he say I was the deluded one? Really? Yeah, you can't. No, no male friends, no male influences. That's disgusting. That's what why? I'm why would you want to stay friends with your your exes? Why would you want to? Because it's just she's there. She's still, you know. I can bring her over once in a while, but we're not. I'm still keeping in contact with her. If it's a genuine friendship, then it's understandable. But I think it depends on the dynamic. So what are you going to be doing with your this? exes? What are you going to be doing with them? That we just catch up. I actually catch up. Minutes. She is one hundred percent keeping him as an option. Everybody watching this knows. I actually no, yeah. I have an ex that I am not in regular contact, but I do talk to. About what? He's in your back pocket, <laughs> saving it for. You might as well put that man in a, some, a piece of foil and freeze him, so you can thaw him out and hit him in the air fryer when you're ready for him. Like, come on now. <laughs> good cap, good cap, Shia. Just we have catch up. Hey, how's you? How's your mom? How's life? Oh, it's good. Like, glad to see you doing really well. That's it. That's it. You know what? You know what that is? You're keeping each other around as options. No, 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 definitely not. I That's exactly know, what no, that no. is. It's genuinely not as options. It's just, you know what it is? It's like genuinely that ex. There's just a lot of love there in the sense of. Oof. No, but it's not. I love <laughs> them. No. The hole gets deeper that you're digging for yourself, Shine. Love there. Like, it's crazy. But there's love. Imagine. We know. It is what it is. No, no, don't. You're waiting. Let Absolutely. me land. Let me land. Like, there's... there's she that said, let me cook. Love in the sense of it was like... This was 10 years ago and... Like, so you still love each other? No, it's not love. I'm not... So what is it? It's just there's genuine care. It's nice. Like... Care? Yeah. I don't even... I don't know what's worse, Sneak. Care or love. You still care and love, this not Like, come on, man. What I look like, a goofy to you? It's done. It's a wrap. If you like it over here, then be over here with me. But that, 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 that circumstance is not going to be involved. And now, now that it's even in my head, like I'm not going to trust you. Care is love. It's the same thing. Stop lying. You used to share the most intimate parts of your body. Come on. This person help me for a hard time right. so it would be a shame to not be able to like have a conversation or catch go be with them chop with them for a coffee every once in a while oh. just because it's it's nice to have had that there but don't get me wrong moving forward if there ever came a point where i'm in love with my man and he gave me an ultimatum of course i'm choosing my man but i would hope that my man would trust me enough to know what kind of woman that i am and i wouldn't go back there or with them like once i'm done with you we're good like it's cool that ultimatum has to happen with the guy that you're actually in love with because you are keeping him around as an I'm option. I'm not, I'm not, this is, no, no, don't, 100%. no, I'm not, like, genuine, I'm not, and that's the thing, like, don't just make your assumptions just because maybe you've experienced and seen it with other women and other people can't hold friendships, but one thing I'm fucking good at is being a good person and having my morals, and I'm, I'm a loyal person, okay. so I can't have someone try and so tell me that I'm you're not actively thinking of it that way because that's how women are, that's how good, they don't think in real. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna hit you with the... With the, uh, you're not thinking of it in reality and real speed, but if it comes to be, it is gonna be is what it is. Reality, you're not gonna actually think that this guy's an option. The truth is, he is. He's not. He's ge genuinely. It's it's not what I think. What he is not. He's okay. not. He's he's got a girlfriend. He's not an option. Right. He's like genuinely. Do you know what not. you are to him? Not an option. An option. An option. No, I'm not. You are. Do you think he's attractive? You know? Well, I did at one point, but now, like, I, this is what I'm saying, like. I, I could probably say, if you said, oh, is he good looking? I'd probably say, yeah, but not for me. 
Just because... Nicole, Why not for you? You still care about him? I've been there. Like, Joe, like, I am the type of person, like, when you outgrow a situation, it's like a job. I won't go back there. When you outgrow something, it's just not for you anymore. This is what I'm saying, though. Like, because of your actions and the way you behave, just because you might sleep with an ex doesn't mean that I would. Like, I'm actually a very trustworthy, loyal person. What would you do if... You're a trustworthy, loyal person. Then be loyal to how I, how I, how you know that would make me feel. And let's not even make it a conversation. Do the right thing. <laughs> My ex was after you. After me? How he wants to fight? Yeah. I guess we gotta fight. Did you fight yeah, him? for real. Why did he have to resort to fighting first? Like, have a conversation. Not no, he's after me. You? Why? Did, I didn't resort to fighting first. He did. He coming for me. And you know where I'm from. We don't fight. <laughs> we do not. I'm not fighting nothing. I don't care if I'm 6'2 and I, and I weigh 250 plus. I don't care. I'm finna ch ch What? <laughs> Boy, you better go on somewhere. I'm not that person. I'm talking about fight. Man, what, what this look like? Do I look like Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not everything is violence. If he's after me, he's... Yeah, we, we have to sort it out. Why can't you just do it for a conversation? He's after me? Mm -hmm. After me doesn't sound like he's after a conversation. But you could be the person that's like, let's talk. Okay, I'll try to talk to him, but if he's really that angry, then it has to go. I wouldn't even try to talk. Oh, if it has to go that way, it has to go that way. Okay, what if he beats you? Would you then- I guess you guys are back together. I got to wipe your face. It's okay, babe. You would not respect- Hell no. No, 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 no. No woman's respecting the guy that she gets beat up, that gets beat up. Even if it's not by my, even if, if I get a girlfriend and her ex comes and he beats me up or any man beats me up in front of my girl, you lose respect for me automatically. Maybe not all respect, but you looking at me like, how am I, like, how is this man supposed to protect me? He literally just got beat up in front of me. Like, he can't protect me. Men supposed to be protectors. If, I've, if you've seen me actually lose a lose a protection protection battle like whatever you want to call it if you see me lose a fight i can't protect you in your eyes Protect me the same way anymore together i got to wipe your face it's okay babe you would not respect me the same way anymore like maybe we would stay together but it would never be the same what would you do if i had cheated yeah yeah nah it would never be the same especially if you're dating a chicago girl she might stay. I think a Chicago girl will leave you, first of all. But, like, but like, <laughs> if she do stay, she going to, every moment she can, hey, don't raise your voice at me. I'm going to go get blah, blah, blah to go whoop you again. Like, come on, man. Well, I got to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Nah. But you really? You'd walk away? That's what I would do. No way. What do you mean, no way? Why is she acting like she's surprised? What, what does she expect? I don't know if this is performance for the video, but this, there's only one option. Yeah. I, I'm not staying, and you don't want to be with the guy who would stay. What would you do if I couldn't cook? Get you some cooking classes and call your mother and say, you failed. You failed on your daughter. You can't do that. You what can't is wrong with you? Did that actually just come out of his mouth? Wow. But also, you wouldn't need to cook that much. I'm gonna make sure my daughter can cook. My baby mama, she can only make one dish, macaroni, it'd be decent. So I, I, I gotta make sure my daughter can cook. <laughs> my, her grandma gonna make sure. Cause like, first of all, when you get of age to be able to be in the kitchen, then go, <laughs> let's go make some dinner for daddy. Thank you. <laughs> for your father, thank you. How much I like eating out a lot. So I'm guessing your mom's a really good cook. She's a stupendous cook. Amazing. I, I like the idea of being in a monogamous relationship, but, but I do actually say to a lot of guys, I'm happy to have an open relationship because I've looked into like the polyamorous community. Oh, no. No, I have. And I've said to that, so I will give you an option. It doesn't when we, work. When we first start dating, I will give you an option. Do you want to keep this open? On both ends? 100%. Uh, hell no. Be open on my end, not your end. Hey, no. Matter of fact, I'm not even one of those people that like open relationships, so it's I wouldn't even go. It didn't. It won't even matter. 
Cheyenne. I, I didn't even know you was like this, Cheyenne. Open relationship? What? It's crazy. A date, and I will give you an option. Do you want to keep this open? On both ends. 100%. Uh, they will say no. So Yeah, it doesn't work. So then it, it, I, I tried it. The only reason you're asking for that is because you have a lot of ego and you think that it needs to be fair in every single way. Yeah, you're, it does need to be fair. You're, it doesn't because I'm paying for everything. There's double standards. The reason you're asking for an open relationship is because I have an open relationship and you think it needs to be fair. Not because you actually have a desire to go sleep with a bunch of random guys. You're afraid to even say your body count right now. If you were just like that willing and liberated to just go sleep with a bunch of dudes, then you would be unhappy and you would have that glazed look in your face. But you don't actually want to do that. You want to be committed to one guy. You want to have that long-term relationship. Right. It's just about finding the person that you can align with. Have you actually tried a polyamorous relationship before? Yeah. I have too. How was that? It does not work. I think polyamorous relationships can work, but I no. think also with it, like in reality, it's most likely like given the option, women, women actually don't sleep around. We don't want other people. So I feel like if you as the man can control the situation, you hold a lot of power, being able to give energy and time with both women that they both desire. It's not having one favorite. It's not having a too high difference in age gap to stop jealousy within the women. But I want four, I want four wives. Or you better control your business then and know how to do it. Get into it, that's why I need to go on all these trips. What would you do if I wanted to invite others into our sex life? Absolutely not. Really? No. I mean, it, it depends. Is it a girl? Could be. If it's a girl, yes. If it's a guy, oh, uh, no. I tried it before. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, I've heard. I saw I, I went saw to a, a I went to a swinger party, like, with, in a previous relationship, trying to make... Because I listened to this, like, yeah, well, it needs to be fair. No. So, so you watched someone else? Watch I swapped with a couple. You swapped with a couple? Yeah. So that would be, what's that, like a cuckold? Isn't it? Yeah, well, I swapped with a couple, and I didn't like the other girl. It's just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And seeing how, like, that's the number one thing that people will always criticize me for, isn't that proof enough in the pudding? If that's, like, something that people will make you fun of you for, and that's, like, the, the, every single video that people use to cancel me, they always bring that up. That's proof. Even the, the liberal people, and that's kind of accepted in that ideology, they'll use that to shame me. Yeah. Clearly, it doesn't work. Nobody will shame me. I've, I've had multiple girlfriends. I have multiple girlfriends. Nobody will be like, this guy has multiple girlfriends, because that's a respected man. A humiliated man is a guy who's sharing his girl. No, he's definitely lying. I'm telling you. Nah, no man's want to share his girl, though. That's why when you cheat, you got to leave. Ain't no coming back from it, because literally, once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't care what nobody says. Cold. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. It's an all right fetish to have. Do you have any fetishes? I don't, it's not a fetish. I think I appreciate feet. I think they're nice. Feet? I like looking at people's feet because I think they're nice. I did not think you were going to lead with feet. Um, <laughs> you like man foot? Like, Ew, you I suck like toes? No, I don't suck toes. You I'm suck the toe. No. <laughs> foot fetish? Yeah, she's freaky. Man toe freaky, is crazy. I, I'd say, I wouldn't say it's a fetish. It's more of a fantasy. So I used to like be into vampires and stuff. So like role play as a vampire. You like biting and stuff? Firstly, if you do role play, you have to go All full role play, whatever it is. Vampire, she's weird, but that's my kind of weird. I, but I know these types of girls, you're gonna leave with a bunch of scars and it's gonna be a war when you go in there. Right, what would you do if I earned more money than you? Did we start the relationship that way? Yeah. And we wouldn't be in a relationship. If we didn't start the relationship that way. And then you ended up, you got a raise and then you started making a lot more. Mm -hmm. Guess I gotta get a raise too. Yeah. I wouldn't let that happen. Okay. I would have to because if a woman makes more than her man, then she ends up belittling him and I don't. I, I actively can't be emasculated. I've seen that done hundreds of times, hundreds of times, where a woman makes more money and the man. It, 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 it might not even be the woman doing it. It might be the man's ego just tripping off of it. But it never works out like that. So the ego comes. To that I've seen. And pushes through. So you earn more. The male ego is important, though. There's a, there's yeah. a common theme from feminists now that they're like the male ego is a bad thing, and I need to. I be don't equal. think it is. By the way, I don't think it is. Like. You need ego to step into certain situations. It's just... Yeah, the male ego is a really important thing to keep the world going forward. It doesn't have to be toxic masculinity. It's, that's what creates society. That's what makes buildings taller. That's the reason that countries exist, and that's why people innovate and people create new things to, is in competition. And competition needs ego to thrive. What would you do if I couldn't come? Oof. Better use that I'd mouth, break babe. a sweat. No, no, not... 
Yeah, I got to start breaking a sweat. Go round four, round five, and we, we got to get there. It's a mental thing, so I got to figure out what I'm not tapping into mentally to make you feel comfortable enough to let loose and just forget about everything and just be in the moment. And if I can't get you there, then I'm doing something wrong. It's my fault. Oh, you think? It is. I like that. I'm like, men take notes with that one. It's but also, the female orgasm is not that important. Damn! It just serves no purpose. <laughs> it's only... Put, it, uh, hey, if you think about it, put the signs behind it. He got it right, but like... For like a pleasurable sensation for the woman, you know, cool. But like, it doesn't serve for reproduction. It doesn't serve for like cleaning out her system or anything. It's, you know, I get I get the statement. This it's is what I'm saying. Every time I'm like, oh my god, yes, it's she's a complete right. waste of time. Like, all Sneeko cares about is what everyone else thinks. Because look, I feel like deep down he really wants to please a woman, but his ego won't allow it. So look, genuinely, if you really was like, yeah, women them ha come in every like I was actually thinking. You might be one of my favorite people on here. But now I'm just like, no. It's if funny, though, how you talk about the male ego. The only reason that I would have the dedication to make you come is because of my ego. Yeah, no, but it's not But So now you like the male ego. No, I like, yeah. It's, when you when, get some, when it's about right. when it's about you having an orgasm, Pretty then 100% I care about the male ego. Right. Make me come. She's got a massive ego, this girl. Then 100% I care about the male ego. Right. Make me come. Right. What's about you? Having an orgasm. Pretty ego. Then 100 percent I care about the male ego. Right. Make me come. She's got a massive orgasm. Pretty ego. Then 100 percent I care about the male ego. Right. Make me come. Listen, Cheyenne, listen. We don't gotta go back and forth about this. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you say, I got you. <laughs> She's got a massive ego, this girl. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot to tame. I think it's still tameable. Maybe I'm simping by saying that, but somebody can come in and fix this woman. But okay. it doesn't, you, it, you coming doesn't matter at all. Yes, it does matter. No. If you are completely in love with me, then you would just come off the fact that I'm feeling pleasure. When I come, life, creation, purpose. When she comes, she's on my bed sheets and I gotta wash them. I think, I think deep down, you would be a very great, passionate, intimate lover, but you care too much about what the rest of the world thinks, so you don't wanna love women. Or go I feel like I said this a little earlier because he's literally like paying attention. Like he's, he's really listening. It's not going out the other ear. He's breaking down like he's, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never really paying nobody. But people gonna come on here and pay attention like that. <laughs> I haven't deep I said, yeah, every. Yeah, but you always go back on what you say. Like, you say it, and then you think, because you see me smile too much, you're like, you, Cheyenne. Actually, no. Okay, well, because I'm an honest person and I can't lie. I regret saying it because of your reaction. And this is. Because you don't want me to smile, so you actually don't want me to be happy. It's not that I don't want you to be happy. You have to unlock it. I don't like, like, how much flirting is going on. Like, it's an underlying, like, flirt going on. And Cheyenne, you got a Sneeko, you doing a great job of maneuvering this reels throughout this whole grilling episode. But Cheyenne, like, stop playing with me, G. Sneeko, uh, how do you think the date went? I enjoyed it. The same. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Why do you say that? I don't know, I just... It's just, it, it, I'm apprehensive when dates come, you know, you've just got to take it as face value. And so far you've been all right. Yeah, I could have made you understand reality a little more, but I'm, you know, it's, it's a date setting, so. So you just when I was starting to like you. Well, thank you for coming. Starting to like who? <laughs> Listen, Shy, stop playing with me, G. Hey, cheers, I appreciated it. Somebody just hit their tooth really on the glass. It. I. Who hit their tooth on the glass? Was it you, Sneeko? I really enjoyed it. I, it flew by. That was two hours. It felt like 30, to be honest. And a lot of Haram behavior. I would go on another date. You know what? Like, it was an all right date. Like, we got on. I feel like it was just in the middle. I didn't hate him, but I didn't love him. I would see her again. Just out of curiosity. And then probably go back to America. Oh, God, the cheating. And I definitely feel like his ego takes over and he doesn't really say what he really wants to say. I think there was some good flirting. There was some good back and forth. Some We have a little bit of chemistry. And I almost looked past 
the body count. I was able, I almost started like, oh, you know, maybe I can fix you, which I need to train out of myself. I was realizing that if I am vibing this much with a haram woman, I need some work. <laughs> oh, well. It might come as a surprise. I probably would see him again. You know what? I can't even be mad at that, Cheyenne, because Sneeko came in here. He did what he was supposed to do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He, he he put that light riz, knowledgeable riz slash asshole riz on you, and you you know what I'm saying? He went. You going? Salute to salute to him. Ah, oh, this is that. That was light work. That I handled the grilling. It was easy, easy. No, I definitely, definitely, definitely grilled him. I thought there was a lot of times he actually stumbled and was speechless. I think she's going to go between a five and an eight, depending on what she was thinking waiting after the date. If we're being honest, I think that was an eight for her. I don't know how well she scored other people, but I think I'm, I think I'm gonna get pretty high up on there, optimistically. If I get under a five, then I have put L's in the comment section, yeah. To be fair, I'm gonna say like, there was a lot of things that I didn't, didn't like about him. I didn't like the fact that he he's believes in cheating. I also didn't like the fact that he- What do you rate him? Changed his answer, where he was like, one minute he wanted to say you please women, the next he didn't. I feel like that's his ego coming in. And I feel like deep down, he could be a really nice like boyfriend, you know? So overall, I'm gonna give him a 7.2. Pretty high. It's pretty high. <laughs> That's the highest on this. All right, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Cheyenne, DM me.